Um, hello YouTube, um, it's 2.09 a.m. in the morning where I am, Eastern Standard Time. Today I'm going to show you how you can change your MKV container into an MP4 container. So you can be able to play it on your Xbox 360, uh, any portable devices that can play back MP4 files, okay? Meaning your PSP if you have one iPod, any of your phones you might have, you know, so um, with that being said, there's going to be three tools you're going to need to start this process off, and it's not a conversion, and this is going to be done within a matter of seconds. This does not take minutes to get done, because it's not a conversion, like I said. So the first tool you're going to need is MKV tool. MKV tool mix. Uh, the second tool is going to be MKV extract GUI, and the third is going to be my MP4 box. I'm going to leave a link in the description for these three tools that you're going to download. Okay. Uh, here's MKV tool mix. You're going to scroll down to the site, and you're, where you see download from mirror direct link, you're going to click that. I've already downloaded this. Okay, so I'm not going to do it again. As you can see, it says setup number two because I already downloaded it again the first time. So you're just going to download that. And then the second is MKV Extract GUI. I'm going to leave a link for this site. Uh, the version you're going to need is 2225.zip. Don't worry, I'm going to leave a direct link to that instead of this site where you have to look through the list to pick it out. And I've already downloaded this already. And the last is my MP4 box and here's the direct link for that as well as I've said before I've downloaded this too now you've downloaded all of these by now I hope now go into the directories where you have downloaded your files where you set it to and drag them on the desktop and just do what I do first is MKV tool mix want to click on that setup click OK click next install it in the directory you want to put it in then click install uh, no for the shortcut because we're not going to be using this program at all click next and finished this is just being used to run mkv extract GUI it's just the exe file that works with mkv tool nix it has to be in this directory for this exe to run so now that we've set that up we want to navigate to where we installed MKV Toolmix. Just go to your C drive, go to your programs folder, and navigate to MKV Toolmix. By the way, if people don't know, I have a 64 bit operating system, so I have two files program files being 64 bit program files, and program files 86 is 4 to 32 bit program files that will be installed in this directory. The tools that I left you in the description are for 32-bit systems, so if you have a 64-bit, you're going to have an 86 folder here, okay? And if you have a 32-bit, you're just going to have a Programs Files folder. You just go in there and, you know, navigate to MKV Tool Nix. And you just want to double-click on MKV Extract GUI, and you just want to drag that exe file in there. Just take the file, drag it in there, and there it is. Now, to make things easier, because we're going to need to run this, I'm just going to right click and send it to the desktop as a shortcut. You can do this too. And if you don't want to have it as a shortcut, you can just right click and pin to the start menu if you want, uh, if it's convenient for you. So now we don't need this compressed file anymore. And the last but not least is my MP4 box. Go on the setup, click next, I accept the agreement, next, next, the directory where the software is going to be installed. The folder it already exists. I've done this before, so would you like to install the folder anyway? Yes. Create a desktop icon, install. <coughs> Now in order for in order to get started here, 
we're gonna need an MKV file to switch its container to MP4. So I'm gonna go and pick out an anime since mine is gonna be anime, of course. Uh, let's see, darker than black. Let's do that. I'm gonna drag this to the desktop, and we're gonna open up MKV Extract GUI. We use this program first. Drag that file in there. As you can see, it's going to show you all the files, like everything that makes up that video. It has dual audio. This anime I downloaded was in dual audio format, so you're going to see English and Japanese audio, subtitles, and everything else. But the only thing I want to make my MP4 container is the, audio, the um, video track and the audio track. I just need these two. That's all I need. My output directory is the desktop. You can choose a output directory for you. It doesn't have to be the desktop, but I'm using it in this video because it's convenient for me. Okay, it's been extracted. We don't need this anymore. Here's the video file. And here's the audio file. The audio file is always smaller than the video file. Now, what we're going to do in my MP4 box is that's what we're going to need next. <sighs> Sorry, I um, paused the video. I had to um, reinstall this program. Um, so now what we're going to do in my MP4 box is add the video file first. You can tell which one's the audio track because it's going to look like this and plus it shows you that's an audio track so we're gonna add the video file first and then we're gonna add the audio now after that save as desktop and we're gonna name it DTB as in darker than black okay click save save them onto the desktop and then after that muxing is going to merge the two files and it's going to create an mp4 container for it as you can see on the bottom it's working its magic and that's it here's the darker than the new darker than black file here as you can see it's 67.7 megabytes and the original is 74.8 because of the Japanese audio and the subtitles. But I took out the subtitles and Japanese audio and the file is a lot smaller. So we don't need these two files anymore. Put this back here. Now I'm gonna play the two files. Here's the first one. First darker than black, the MKV file. Okay. Uh, let's wait till that 407. No, wait. You need me. She won't tell you where it is unless I'm with you. Stop. He's right, hey. He can still be useful. Uh, look, that's They're all the same. You make me sick. Yeah, he's gonna hey! kill that guy. Okay. Our star just fell. That was the original MKV file. And here's the MP4 container. Play that, shall we? Let's see, here we go. Same part. Like no, that. wait. You need me. She won't tell you where it is unless I'm with you. Stop. He's right. Hey, see? He can still be useful. Quality still You're the, all same. the same. You make me sick. Hey. I know, I saw it. And as you can see, no quality difference at all. Quality stayed the same. It was very fast. No need for conversion. Didn't take long at all. All thing we did was take out the, the things that we needed, the video and the English audio, and we just put it into a different container. No conversion needed. So um, there you go. Um, comment, rate, subscribe.
hope you liked what you've seen and if it helped uh, feel free to give me a like and uh, thanks for watching this video you've been so patient um, until next time see you guys later